One of the reasons why I think a lot of people go into these preachy modes, which I've probably done in these last two videos, but when someone goes into the preachy mode, it's about, and you know, when it comes to minorities in relation to the, those that are in the majority, it's the hope that when the time comes to vote, that you'll vote in the favor of, let's say, for my demographic, you'll vote in something that's in favor for my demographic. It's trying to get people to understand that people of, of different demographics, as they might have the same kind of opinions as most others, the kinds of things that they've experienced, their, their life is going to be quite a different experience. That you can try to imagine, and that's the part that's the most important, you can try to imagine what it's like. When people make it sound like, oh, those differences don't really amount to a hill of beans, we shouldn't have to think about that at all. Well, nobody's saying you have to think about anything. Well, I'm certainly not saying you have to think about anything in particular. You know, you think the way that you think. You know, keep doing things your way, and that's... But if you are wanting to help in some way, you do that at the voting... Uh, you do that when it comes time to vote. That's when it's important. That's so. This is not one of those. Uh, oh, if if you want to be a real ally, kind of uh, videos. Those are very annoying. And, and what's funny is if if you try to look at the good side of what they're saying, they're essentially in the end saying, well, be an ally by being our friend and accepting our decisions or or what we are and don't make a big deal about it. But they go on this... They try to take you on a scholarly way of looking at it. And it, it's, it's so preachy, they get so... They take so long to just state that general message. Be there for us and don't make that big of a deal about it. You know, and if they just worded it that way too, if they just said it that way, I don't think it would really annoy very many people. There would be some that would get annoyed. Some people get annoyed at any sort of... Uh, anything that gets even remotely preachy. Some people get just extremely annoyed at it. Now, to me, as long as you're not voting for things that hurt the gay community, you know, and when something comes up, you can vote to, you know, do something that would help the gay community, you know, I consider that a very, very fine, excellent ally. But, I mean, all in all, people want your votes for making their lives better. But as I've said many times, uh, the people that are pushing this need to stop with this absolutely methodical way of approaching these subjects. Stop being so damn methodical about it. You, you sound... You, you, you're, you're no better than, than Islam making their kids memorize all this shit when if people just are taught to pay attention to things just in general they'll get the idea of this stuff on their own without having to have it be so damn fucking methodical get that methodical shit out just get it out of here it doesn't work it's not helping word things in ways that people will understand. If all you're doing is preaching to the choir, what's the fucking point? I mean, if so many of the people who are on the creative side of things, couldn't they put some of their creative thought into new ways of approaching this stuff? Or does it, does it just have to follow this textbook methodology in order to do it? Anyway. Hemingway. <laughs>